Marsova DOE team is consist of more than 12 students from electrical and electronics engineering and computer science engineering department. All members had to go through a lot of study and experiments during the entire process of making the rover and tuning it to its best performance. This is to mention we don't have any mechanical engineering department in our university and we had to do this extra work like studying and experimenting on our own without any basic knowledge about mechanical. Uh, we have used modified rocker bogey system for suspension and another thing is uh, we have used servo based steering motor to steer this whole rocker, uh, whole rover and hydro dissimilar gear motor to run this rover. The chase is made by US bar. We have used MS bar for taking strays in astronaut trucks, equipment trucks and terrain travelling trucks and several trucks in the University of Robot Challenge. We use a design using assist materials to take the stress of rough terrain and the grip of wheels is considered as squeeze the surface. We are developing our wheel design to make them more efficient. The rover arm is implemented by aluminium with 3 degrees of freedom. In this state, uh, a DC gear motor is used uh, with gear mechanism uh, for 360 degree rotation. Two linear actuators are used for lifting heavy weight. This gripper is made by acrylic sheet with a laser sensor and a magnetometric sensor. We are using a latest technology in our circuit. We are using ARM processor. This was help for uh, help us to the our system is a high speed processor. Uh, we also have two mini PC and uh, we are using a infrared sensor which is uh, find the human body. We are using a air quantity sensor. This helps to find out the uh, quality of the air. And we also uh, use a laser system in our hand. It's a laser technology. We made a custom PCB for our robot. Every electronic system we make a backup system. In our rover, our total power system consumes actually 300 watts. Uh, we have divided our uh, total power system into uh, in two parts, uh, on light load parts and uh, heavy load parts. Uh, our light load parts consume uh, 30 watt and our heavy load part consume actually uh, 270 watt. Uh, our heavy load part means uh, our um, wheel, uh, motor uh, which, uh, for, uh, for wheel and our uh, hand part, we have used uh, two uh, linear actuator and one motor for our hand part and this is, uh, the whole part is our heavy load. In our electrode part, we have several sensors. We have actually used SMPS converter um, for convert power. The whole power system is run by LiPo battery for as a backup in, in a power system if uh, our uh, regular power system fail for some reason, a solar system will back up this system. The communication between rover and control station along with an antenna is placed both rover and control system. A 2.4 GHz 600 Mbps router is used with 2.4 GHz 15 dB omidirectional antenna used for outdoor coverage. In case of failure of communication system, we are using a backup communication system which is made by NFR2. The rover software system fully developed by Mars Rover UI team members. Establish a central system to control the rover from remote area. Every software runs individually and independently. The system associated with the rover can convert data which is received from sensor and camera. Software are developed by C++, C Sharp and Java programming language. Overall control system is developed in C Sharp.net which offers a user friendly graphical user interface. To communicate with the rover, in the rover side we use Java. Rover software has been designed as a server side and the control, uh, control station software as the client side which communicate with, e with each other through wireless data transmission and thus implementing a complete client server application using web server. If server stop then it will automatically reconnect with 500 millisecond. The software is interface GPS with offline map gyro with 2D graphical interface. To analyze the soil sample on site, some test equipment have been used. For example, USB microscope is used to get a visual representation of soil 